welcome to another episode of Jerusalem Praise. I'm Yair Pinto, and I will be the host of this program. And with me today is Monica Yaguri. Monica, could you please start by praying for us today that God will join us and join our viewers uh, all over the world? Yes, Father God, we thank you again for this opportunity to come before you here uh, from Jerusalem and uh, with all the viewers around the world, Father. We thank you that where two or three are together in your name, uh, that you are in the midst of them. We thank you that you are here today with us and thank you that you are with the viewers at home today. And thank you for hearing our prayers and we ask you to lead us and guide us and give us wisdom and, and the right words and the right prayers and uh, that they would be according to your will. We thank you that you hear our prayers beforehand already and that you want to answer them because you're a good father. In Jesus' name. Amen. Well, Monica, it's been, I think, a month since our, our last program, and it's, uh, it's good to be here. It's also very special that uh, many people from around the world sent us a lot of uh, prayer requests. We, we get them uh, on, on email, and we get them also on the comment box on YouTube. And I think it's very important to say that uh, those comments that are on, on the YouTube I encourage you guys back at home to, to pray for them. You can take a look at uh, our former program. And uh, there are many per request. And here, us, our team in, in Israel, we cannot, uh, we do try to pray for all of them, but it's very hard. And we encourage you to join us in prayer from, from around the world uh, for these people because they, they put it publicly and they want you to also uh, pray for them. And that's the purpose of this program. And more than that, if you want to be part of this program, we encourage you to send us uh, your prayer requests and also prayer videos. You can send it uh, through our messenger, okay? So to TV7 Israel News Facebook page, and uh, you can send a one-minute prayer request with your name, the country where you're from, and your prayer request. And then we can add it here in the screen, it, uh, and we will encourage people from around the world to join us in prayer for each other. Okay, so that's a little bit of an introduction of uh, what this program is all about. But uh, I think that uh, one prayer request, the first video that we got, is very special, Monica. Uh, it came to us from Donna, and she's from Samoa in the Pacific Ocean. So that's very far away from, from here in Israel. And she said, and then we'll show you the video. She said, Shalom, our group prays almost every Saturday, praying for our Messianic family in Israel. The group ranges from very old ladies to young children and youths. We believe in God's purposes in keeping his people safe for his glory alone. Our shalom, which is peace, for you from across the seas, as stated in Isaiah 41. So let's, uh, let's watch the video. Wow, right? It's, it's amazing to see that people from, you know, the ends of the, the other parts of the seas are praying for Jerusalem, for the peace of Jerusalem, for our, uh, you know, from our safety. And we want also to pray for them. But before that, could you please read Isaiah 41, first uh, 1 to 5? Yes. It says, Keep silence before me, O coastlands, and let the people renew their strength. Let them come near, let them speak. Let us come near together for judgment. Who raised up one from the east? Who in righteousness called him to his feet? Who gave the nations before him and made him rule over kings? Who gave them as a dust to his sword, as driven stubble to his bow? Who pursued them and passed safely by the way that he had not gone with his feet? Who has performed and done it, calling the generations from the beginning? I, the Lord, am the first. And with the last, I am he. The coastlands saw and feared, 
The ends of the earth were afraid. They drew, they drew near and came. Everyone helped his neighbor and said to his brother, be of good courage. Amen. And Monica, could you please uh, pray for our brothers and sisters in Samoa that keep us in prayers in the country of Israel? Yes, uh, Father God, we are so grateful for uh, our brothers and sisters in Samoa and, and actually uh, in all Pacific Islands. Uh, mm -hmm. I heard Micronesia and, and many other island nations there are very uh, zealous for Israel and, and they are very zealous believers and they are very grateful that the gospel has come out of Jerusalem and reached the ends of the earth, Father. And we just thank you for their faithfulness and we thank you that you have kept them. We lift them before you and, and thank you for encouraging them, for strengthening them, Father for uh, bringing new revival among them, stirring them up for these end times, Father, and thank you for rewarding their faithfulness, Lord. We thank you that every seed that they've sown, we just pray that every prayer, that you would multiply it back to them, 30, 60, and 100-fold, Father. And we just pray that at these times, such a time as this, they've called them forth, and that I pray that you'll bless them and give them wisdom for these days ahead. And... Uh, that you would be with them and that they may grow and that their eyes may be on you, Lord, uh, and that they may go stronger in their relationship with you and everything they do would be for your glory in Jesus' name. Amen. And we also received a, a text per request. And Monica, could you go ahead and, uh, and read uh, from Teresa Taylor from... Um, you might be from... From the Middle East, yeah. His email address is uh, UK, so maybe she's... <laughs> okay, there. okay. But her prayer subject is Arab Christians and Israel. So she's saying, When I was first saved and had a supernatural encounter with Jesus, as he told me of his love for the Jews, now encounter uh, anti-Israeli and Jewish sentiment amongst Arab believers in the Middle East, and I so long for them to view the situation as God does, rather than what their experiences have been. How can I share with them? Please pray for an awakening in their hearts that they can minister a full gospel message to those around them. Please pray that I would learn to reach out in Holy Spirit wisdom. Thank you. Yeah, and uh, I would like to read Isaiah 52, 7 and 10, see what, what God is uh, telling us. And he tells us, <clears throat> How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who brings good news, who proclaims peace, who brings glad tidings of good things, who proclaims salvation, who says to Zion, your God reigns, your watchmen shall lift up their voices, with their voices they shall sing together, for they shall see eye to eye when the Lord brings back Zion. Break forth into joy, sing together, you waste place of Jerusalem, for the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord has made bare his holy arm in the eyes of all the nations and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of God. So I would like to pray for um, Teresa that, uh, that basically God will bless you and that God will uh, give you strength and give you the words and uh, you know, fill you with his spirit to share his word to these people. B'Shem Yeshua Mashiach, Anachnu Mitpalelim, Elohim, we pray that you will fill uh, Teresi with uh, your spirit, with your um, words, and you will put her on the path that you chose for her. Please bless her, give her the right words and favor in front of all the people that you want her to speak to. B'Shem Yeshua Mashiach. Amen. Can I also add something? Yes, of course. <laughs> I will just want to lift up all those Arab Christians as well in the Middle East and anywhere else in the world, mm -hmm. Father. And we just pray that you would open their eyes, Lord, and it would show them things as, as you see them, Father, about Israel, about the Jews, about uh, other believers, uh, Lord. And uh, we just uh, thank you that you can open their eyes you can open their ears and their hearts, Lord. And if there is any root of bitterness or if there is any uh, offense, we just pray that you would uproot it and, and you would uh, place your love, which would fill them with your love, Lord, and, and help them see things as you see and help them love as you love, Lord, and help them understand as you understand, Lord. So we just uh, pray that you will bless them and would be with them, Father, and reveal yourself 
and your vision uh, for the Jews, for Israel, and uh, for your church in the whole world, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks, Monica. And now uh, we have um, another video from Wendy uh, from the United States. She'll explain she's from a variety of places, but let's, let's watch it. Hello, my name is Wendy Cohen. I am an American Jewish woman, an Israeli woman, currently living in Kenya. My first prayer request is for the United States, that we are a broken nation now. We are divided in two, and we are fighting hard for the freedom and liberty with which we were created, one nation under God with liberty and justice for all. And I'm asking for your prayers for the United States, that we would again be a nation that would be free to worship God whenever and however we choose, and that nobody would be restricting our speech and our behavior that is lawful. I thank you for your prayers for that. And also, we've received some uh, text prayer requests on this very topic because, you know, the United States yeah. has been through elections and it mm -hmm. seems like the country is very divided. So we have received a prayer request from Vilma from Dallas in the United States. And she asked for prayer, for, uh, pray for Central America. We are here in Dallas, Texas, but we pray for everyone, especially for Israel. Love y'all. God bless Israel. And also a prayer request from uh, Adamos. Uh, please pray for the United States of America in this tumult tumultuous time tumultuous. that uh, affects the U.S., has consequences for the whole world. I remain a steadfast warrior in prayer for the church and for Israel. Okay, so Monica, could you please lift up the United States uh, in prayer? Yes, Lord, uh, we just joined the, all the prayers uh, of all the believers, all the people in the United States of America and uh, everybody else around the world who are praying for them at the moment, Father, that they truly may be one nation under one God and, and help them, Lord. We just pray that you bless them. We ask you for your mercy, Lord, for this time. Just pray that you would touch their hearts, Father, and we just pray for your shalom, your peace yeah. over them, Father, spirit, soul, body, and mind. We just pray that um, any agitation that is not of you, Lord, uh, I pray that you would uh, you would replace it with your peace, you know, true peace that comes from you, Father, and that they would be able to see also, like you see, Father, and uh, that you have torn down the dividing walls between people, between brothers and sisters, Father, and we just look to you for unity, Lord. You are the only one who can bring it, Father. You are the only one who can bring your true plan and your true purpose uh, for the United States. And we look to you, we cry out to you. Uh, we pray for more freedom, Father. We pray that your will, your highest and your best be done, Father, and only you can do it. So we ask you to interfere and we ask you to send out your angel armies and, and uh, help Help America, help everybody over there right now, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And also there's a, a Bible verse talking about that and that I would like to read from uh, Psalm 117. Praise the Lord, all you Gentiles. Uh, Laud him, all you peoples. For his merciful kindness is great towards us and the truth of the Lord endures forever. Okay, so we need just to focus our eyes on, on God and he's in control of everything, even if we don't know, you know, the outcome and what's going to yes. happen. And uh, we've received a text prayer request. Could you please read it, uh, Monica? Yes. So this is from Karen from Canada. Mm -hmm. And she says, my name is Karen Potts. I am a Canadian living in the United Kingdom. I watch Channel 7 News on YouTube and pray for your ministry faithfully. Please may I ask for prayers of salvation for my three adult children. Their names are Moses, Jasmine, or Yasmin, and Saido. And they have been given the gospel several times and in various ways, but still have hard hearts. So please pray for their salvation. Thank you, and God bless Israel. Okay, so um, I think that we can, uh, we can join in prayer for... For her kids, could you please uh, pray for them, Monica? Yes, uh, there is also a scripture verse in in uh, Acts uh, where it says that uh, pray, uh, believe in in Christ Jesus, believe in the Lord God, and uh, you will be saved in your family, 
and uh, we just trust that uh, we just trust that this will happen for mm -hmm. for Karen mm -hmm. from Canada. So we lift up her family, Father, and we thank you that she has put her trust in you, Lord. And we just join our prayers with her, Father. And we thank you that you hear our prayers and where two or three are together in your name, that you are in the midst of them and you hear our prayers, Father. And, and your will is that everyone comes to salvation, that no one would perish, Father. Thank you that you love Karen and you love her children, Father. And we just pray that uh, that you would, you would touch their hearts, Lord, that you would open their eyes, the eyes of their understanding, and that uh, they may see you, Father, and, and you're the only one who can reveal yourself mm -hmm. the way that they would understand, that they would be able to receive you. So we just pray that you do real, you, re you would reveal yourself mm -hmm. to them so that they may know you, Father, and that they may send, spend their eternity with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yeah, Monica, you know, we believe that God is the, is the true shepherd. Okay, so I would just like to read Ezekiel yes. 34, 11 uh, to 12. And... For thus says the Lord God, I indeed, I myself will search for my sheep and seek them out. As a shepherd seeks out his flock on the day he is among his scattered sheep, so I will seek out my sheep and deliver them from all the places where they were scattered on a cloudy and dark day. Amen. Amen. Bring his sheep. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And we've received uh, another video from Bo from Sweden. Okay, so let's watch it together. Hi, I'm Bosse from Sweden. My wife Kerstin and I have an important prayer request to share with you. The situation in Sweden is not good and the country is more and more turning away from God and the way he wants us to live. A big problem is also that in many churches People and also the leaders of the churches are turning away from the living word of God. It's too much of compromising with the message of the Bible, striving to be accepted by the society. The calling of the church, however, is to be salt and to be light to the world. So please pray that we in our churches in Sweden will see a new respect for the word of God. A deep desire to stand up for the truth, what is right and what is wrong in the eyes of our Lord. And boldly share the love of God, the good news of salvation and the kingdom of God. Many blessings from Sweden. Bye. Well, thank you. Thank you, Bo. And uh, we believe Monica, that uh, the word of God is everlasting, you know, and God doesn't come back from his, uh, from what he said. And I would like to read First uh, Peter, number one, verses twenty-four and twenty-five. All flesh is as grass, and all the glory of men as the flower of the grass. The grass withers, and its flower falls away but the word of the Lord endures forever. Amen. So could you please uh, pray? And I would like to join you uh, back in your houses to join us uh, in prayer for Sweden. Yes, Father, we leave Sweden before you and uh, we thank you for all the great things that you have done there previously and in the past. And we thank you that you are the same God, you are the same yesterday, today and forever. And the good work that you have started in Sweden that you will also complete it, Father. And we ask for your forgiveness uh, if, if the church uh, has any way fallen from the right path, Father, has compromised with your word, with your truth, with your purposes and principles, Father. So we just ask for your mercy and we ask for your forgiveness, Father. And we ask uh, that you would help, that would you help them repent, Father. And thank you. I, we believe that you have a remnant in there who is pleasing to you, Father, who is righteous, Lord. And... Uh, you will save Sweden. You will save Sweden and you will turn them, Father. And we just pray that you would help them turn, that you would help them turn their eyes back to you, Father, and, and not compromise with the word, Father. Just pray that you would stir up a new hunger and a new thirst for your word to search out your truth, Father, because you are the way, the truth, and the life. And uh, we put our hope in you together with Sweden. In Jesus' name. Amen. And now to our next uh, video, we've received a video from 
Martha from Jerusalem. Shalom. My name is Martha, and I live in Israel. I have lived all over the world, but people are my favorite thing, especially different cultures. So my biggest prayer during this pandemic is that those who have never even known God or thought about him would just start to question, is there really a God? And if so, who are you? And may the Lord reveal himself to them. Thank you. Will you please pray that others will just really get hungry for truth? Amen, Martha. And we would like really to join you in prayer for that. But Monica, could you please uh, read the uh, Acts 17, 26 to 27? Before we... Yes. And he has made from one blood every nation of men to dwell on all the face of the earth and has determined their pre-appointed times and their boundaries of their dwellings so that they should seek the Lord in the hope that they might grope for him and find him, though he's not far from each one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being, as also some of your own poets have said, for we are also his offspring. Amen. Amen. So I would like to ask you to join me in prayer for, uh, for all the people in the world that are suffering now uh, with COVID, that they will seek God. Avinu Sheba our Father in heaven, we pray to you in the name of Yeshua Mashiach. We pray for all the people that suffer from, uh, from Corona, from COVID-19 in this hard time all over the world, that they will search and seek you and that you will reveal yourself to them in these times. Please be with them, encourage them, and let them know that you are in control of every situation. Shem Yisrael Mashiach. Amen. Uh, Monica, could you please read the, the text prayer request that we received? Yes, and the next one comes from Magdalena uh, from Australia. Uh, my name is Magdalena Soenarjo from Australia. Since February 2020 to now, I was diagnosed with a blood disorder and always have anemia condition. For uh, first, the hematologist diagnosed it as pure red cells aplasia, or bone marrow uh, did not produce any red blood cells. And this resulted in regular blood transfusion every two or three weeks. A clinical trial was started in April 2020 with few medications. After the second bone marrow biopsy on the 3rd of November 2020, the bone marrow appeared healthy. Back, uh, it was back to producing red blood cells. However, the, uh, the reticulocyte young red blood cells mm -hmm. seem not to be surviving because I keep having the blood transfusion every four to five weeks. The hematologist with 10 others could not determine my medical condition and any possible treatment yet. So please pray for the medical team and my healing or comfort to go through this according to his plans. Thank you so much. Jehovah bless and keep you always. Best regards, Magdalena. Okay, so we believe that God is a, is a healing God. He has power over all diseases. And we want to pray for Magdalena. We want to pray for the doctors that treat her. And Monica, you had something, some verses you wanted to share. Yes, we read last time, and everybody knows the scripture about the woman uh, of the issue with blood from mm -hmm. the New Testament and how he sought out Jesus. And he had gone to all the doctors. And then uh, there is a few verses in the Old Testament that say that, uh, is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? And it's a rhetorical question that the, the answer is yes, because God is, is our healer. He says himself mm -hmm. that he's Jehovah Rapha, I'm, I'm the Lord who healeth thee. So there is balm in Gilead. There is a medicine. There is, um, there is an answer. And even if uh, the human medicine doesn't have the answer, then he does. So we just lift uh, Magdalena and, mm -hmm. and the medical team there uh, before you, Father. And... Just pray that your plan would happen, Father. And uh, if uh, human medicine is the way to heal and then to uh, solve the situation, Father, we just pray that you give wisdom to these doctors there and that, that they would be able to solve it and come up with a solution and come up uh, uh, with a diagnosis, Father. But if this is not your purpose and your way, Father, so we trust Magdalena into your hands because you are the Lord that healeth her, Father. You are her comforter, Father. And we just trust that you are, you are almighty God. You can do everything. Nothing is impossible to you. So where there is no human way out, you have a way out, Father. You have a solution. You have an answer. And you have a healing for her. So we just surround her with faith and, uh, and love, Lord. And we just 
pray that you would touch her, that you would interfere, and uh, that you would go to the source of this disease, Father, and uh, you can root it out, and you can bring full restoration and full healing to her in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And now uh, we have our basically our final video. And this is a video that, um, that actually I recorded as I was uh, in the desert of, uh, of Israel. Monica, you know that, uh, you know, in Israel, uh, people go to military reserve to defend the country because a, a big portion of the military is actually civilians that go back for a few days and then uh, come back to their lives. So that's what I was doing. So... I wanted to share something from, from the desert. Shalom, everybody. I would like to take this opportunity as I'm here in the desert of Israel uh, practicing for my IDF reserve duty and ask you to pray for Israel's security. You know that Israel is always challenged with uh, threats from its uh, neighbors and from the region. And I believe uh, this is a good opportunity to call on you to, to pray for the soldiers, the Israeli people who come here and serve and defend their country. So please uh, pray for Israel's security. Shalom. Okay. Thank you, Yair. <laughs> keeping us safe. <laughs> I, I try. No, thanks. But thanks God for keeping uh, Israel safe. And I believe the state of Israel, the modern state of Israel is a really a miracle of God's faithfulness to the Jewish people. And we see fulfillment of prophecies these days. But uh, we're about to, you know, run out of time for this program. So I would like to ask you guys back at home also to to take a look at all of the comments on YouTube and pray for the people that asked for prayer requests all from, also from last program and from this program. We had Asher from Pakistan. We had Teresa. We had uh, Mary Jane from the United States and, and many more. And we would really like you to also pray for them, but we don't have the uh, time uh, this program. So I would like uh, to conclude with uh, the priestly blessing that God will bless uh, you back at home from Israel and all of us. Yevarchecha Adonai veishmerecha. Yair Adonai panav alecha veyechunecha. Isa Adonai panav alecha veyasem lecha shalom. Shalom everybody and we will see you next time for another episode of Jerusalem Praise.